Welcome to Do Not Visit, a series where I talk about the places of Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and Fire, that you definitely don't ever want to visit. Ever. Today, I want to talk about the Thousand Islands and why you should just nope the fuck out of there, if ever in the area. The Thousand Islands is the furthest east that any man from the Seven Kingdoms has traveled, and is located in the eastern Shivering Sea, off the northern coast of Essos. Maesters believe the islands hold remnants of a drowned kingdom whose buildings were submerged by the rising sea thousands of years ago. The people that now populate the Thousand Islands may be survivors of this kingdom, or maybe sailors that got trapped hundreds of years ago after the drowned kingdom was lost. So it sounds like a great adventure. Venture to the Thousand Islands, where few have gone, and discover an ancient civilization. Yeah, just hold up a second. The people that still exist on these isles, however they ended up there, are xenophobic in nature and often super violent towards travelers. And they sort of look like Voldemort with a nose. They have green-tinged skin, are completely hairless, and the females file their teeth into sharp points, and I'm sure you can imagine why. The men also slice the foreskins of their penis. So they practice circumcision, and if you know Val from Because Geek, she has a very interesting thought on why they practice circumcision and what that has to do with their sharpening of teeth. The reason why they, they sharpen their teeth like that is for the circumcision. Because Geek is more terrifying than you'll ever realize. These people speak an unknown language, so good luck trying to convince them not to kill you and sacrifice you, because they definitely will. They love to kill and sacrifice those that venture to their island to their scaled, fish-headed gods. Which in itself is weird, because even though they worship fish-headed gods, they are absolutely terrified of the water and will not go into it, even to save their lives. You can put a knife to their throat and say, hey, Go in the water, or I'll slit your throat. They'll let you slit their throat. So, what's in that water? Is it scary things? It's scary things. I give this place 5 out of 10 nopes. Yeah, I'd never want to visit, but as Chris from Smokescreen pointed out, why wouldn't you just stand in the water where they wouldn't come out and get you? Nope. that people from West of the Seven Kingdoms have gone. So it's kind of neat, but there's a people there, you notice they look a little weird. They have green tinged skin. Uh, the women file their teeth into points because I, I guess that's just, you know, no, I like that just I know the, no, the background. So the women file their teeth into points. Uh, they're completely hairless. For some reason, they just, they don't have any hair. What's actually kind of interesting, this has nothing to do with do not visit, I'm not saying like anything political here, uh, or whatever we would classify this as, they actually practice circumcision here, the men do. Now, I don't know why the maesters want to point that out, maybe George just, it's, it's George, you know, just fucking whatever you want, George. Jesus, like that. Yeah, yeah, George, whatever. Do whatever you want, we love you. So, they practice circumcision. So, Chris, are you just out now? Is that just... I'm out. That's no... That's no... no. Uh, they file their teeth. And what's really bad about this is they are xenophobic. Like, extremely. And you go there, likely they'll kill you. They don't want you there. They, they speak an unknown language. They worship these fish head gods that have scales. And they will sacrifice you to them. What's really bizarre about them is, uh, you can see, it's it's islands, they're surrounded by water, but they're so terrified of the water. They know something's there, and there's rumors that there's ancient civilizations down there that even if you put a knife to their throat and said, get in the water, put your feet in the water, they'll let you slip their throat first. They are so terrified of something that is in the waters around there, but they'll slit your throat and push you into there because they're sacrificing you to whatever they're afraid of. So that kind of, I don't know. So how did you accidentally die here, Chris? 
Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> What's a good accident? What's a good accident? <laughs> you were Drink making rocks and fell. You, you arrived on the island. You died from an infection from the circumcision that they caused you to you were just eating, Val. Just admit it. They just they found you and they ate you and they sacrificed. Well, they don't eat. I don't know. Can we take water? Are they afraid of water? What's in the water? They won't touch the water. They won't even put their toes in it. Like if you would put a knife to their throat, they they choose death over going in the water. I was trying to figure out a way to survive. Val was trying to figure out a way to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just like, well, I would just go stand in the water. I just swim out 10 feet, but what's in the water? You just need a super soaker. That's what I was thinking. I think these women are probably pretty attractive with a pro. They look like Voldemort with a nose. Well, I couldn't I make myself look like one of those two and just shave my head and sharpen my teeth a little bit? That's really a commitment to it. If I'm stuck there, I will do anything. But okay, we have it on record. She would do anything. <laughs> Just don't take it out of context. Please. I will. I will. <laughs> Show the rest of the movie. Um, okay, well, I, I'm about to say something I probably don't want to be on the uh, record. Um, I was, I was getting a really record spoon. All right, okay, we're allowed to like go like. <laughs> Kind of dirty here a little bit. Have you not been listening to me for 40 minutes? <laughs> Jesus Christ, goddamn fucker, fuck George. Like, hey, circumcision, dying from a penis infection. <laughs> I'm just, oh my god. Okay, I was thinking. I was you have thinking. an image to keep. I lost mine years ago. <laughs> I'm slowly losing mine too. Um, you've been around me too long now. I know. Okay, so I would say that I would try to make myself look like them. But then what would happen? This fucking commitment to I, I told you, I'm stuck in this place. Yeah. I can't anymore. I'm and just up here like, I don't know, she's got these stories. Go for it. <laughs> I'm just, I don't like, my creativity is uh, pretty high today. Okay, and then, and then I'm like trying to, you know, play, play my part like I'm one of them. And, and then they start like explaining to me. Well, they wouldn't really explain to me because I'm supposed to. It's an unknown language, and yeah, you don't know what they're. Saying. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh my gosh. But I, would, I would not understand that until it happened. And it's like the the, the reason why they they sharpen their teeth like that is for the circumcision. Oh my god. <laughs> Running this and say we want a panel called Story Time with Veil. <laughs> this is the best. Woo! This is the best. Uh, so, so your I know they're all ten because of the oh, teeth yeah. circumcisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're at one because you're going to be one of them. 